What's up, Dennis Athletes? Today I'll be giving you a workout that you can follow along to to give you big, strong arms, and it requires absolutely no equipment. For real, all you'll need are two chairs. If you've had trouble building your arms, you could have been making this one mistake that so many people make, and that comes down to your workout, not selecting the correct combination of exercises that's gonna thoroughly train each muscle group within your arms. Your arm consists of the main muscle groups, shoulders, triceps, biceps, and your forearm. But within your tricep, you have your long head, your medial, and your lateral. Within your bicep, you have your short and long Long head and within your shoulder you have your frontal medial and rear delt and you'll need to have an effective exercise that will emphasize on each individual head of each muscle group in your arm so if you don't have a proper structured workout you can be training your triceps but all your exercises are just mainly emphasizing on one head losing potential strength gains and muscle definition by leaving out the other two heads of your triceps this is how to make true strength gains and muscle definition not just for your arms but throughout your entire body and that's what I'll be having you do in today's workout so grab two chairs and to properly follow along just download the Phoenix app in the App Store, Google Play Store, or hit the link down in the video description below. Open up to the YouTube workout section, you should be able to find this routine, and we're ready to get started. The first muscle group we're gonna start emphasizing on is gonna be our triceps with bench dips, emphasizing on the medial head of our triceps. And to really build our arms, we're gonna increase the time under tension, work past the point of fatigue so that we're creating hypertrophy, which is gonna allow us to tear our muscle fibers so that they grow back thicker and stronger by holding the last rep for time and utilizing isometrics. So let's just grab one chair, put it against the wall, just like that. Come right behind it. We're gonna go for 15 reps. Feet together, all the way down, and all the way up. Don't rush them. You wanna give thorough reps. Go all the way down. Twelve. 13, 14, all the way down. 15, we're gonna hold this last one for time. Last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. So if you felt that last hold, you should definitely feel the pump in your triceps. Now moving on, we're gonna attack another area of our triceps with skull crushers, emphasizing on our long head of our triceps. You can go ahead and pause the video for a couple seconds if you need to give yourself a break, but everybody else, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Take our one chair, palms down, walk all the way out. You wanna be in a straight line from the tip of your toes to your shoulders. With your elbows straight down, you wanna go down and come right back up. Now the higher the elevated surface, the easier it's gonna be, and the lower the surface is, the harder it's gonna be. Let's go for 15 reps. Nine, squeeze your core. 10, five more. Three, two, last one, we're gonna hold it. Come right back up. Whew. With that hold, the pump is even crazier. And we're just on triceps. We have one more exercise to go and then we're gonna move into biceps. But first we have diamond push-ups, so it's gonna emphasize on our lateral head of our triceps. We'll take five seconds real quick to catch our breath and then get down into a diamond push-up position. But you can go ahead and pause the video if you need more time. So feet and hands together. And of course, if doing this on the ground is too difficult, you can always do it again on an elevated surface. So we're gonna go all the way down, right back up, 15. Squeeze your core, squeeze the grip on the floor. Five. Ten. We have five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it. That's right. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Squeeze. Squeeze your core. Squeeze your triceps. Squeeze the grip on the floor. On the ground. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. My triceps 
are so pumped right now. Even my core and a bit of my shoulders. But now we're gonna move on to biceps. And the first exercise we're gonna hit is gonna emphasize on our short head with bicep curls with our body weight. So we're gonna pull out our chair, take a seat down on the ground. You can go ahead and take a little break. Take five seconds to catch your breath. All right. You're gonna put your hands on top of the chair, heels into the ground, lift up your hips. With your elbows forward, we're gonna curl right up to our forehead. If you can do 15, even better. If not, go for 10. It's 10. Let's go five more. Last one, here we go. All right. I felt the muscle fibers like tearing as I was going through every single rep. Sheesh, my arm is on fire right now. This is a crazier pump than I will get even doing weights. But now we're moving on to the next exercise. It's gonna emphasize again on our short head and we're just gonna hold this time. So we're gonna hold the chin up position. We're gonna do it for about three sets. If we can hit 10 seconds each, that'd be great. All right, let's go for it. Heels into the ground, hips up, hold. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, shake that off. Wait five seconds, five, four, three, two. Let's go back. Three, two, one. Woo! Biceps are on fire right now. Let's give it a couple more seconds. Three, two, let's head into the last one. Let's go for it. Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. My arms are on fire. Look at the pump and the separation between the biceps and the triceps. It's crazy. Moving on, we're gonna do the last exercise for our biceps before moving into our shoulders. But with this last exercise, not only is it gonna emphasize on our long head of our bicep, but also our rear delts of our shoulders. So it's gonna be a great transitional exercise. And the next exercise when we move into shoulders, again, we're gonna double down on the rear delts. Let's get our two chairs, sit down right in the middle. I'm gonna grab the back and we're gonna go the same way up. Heels flat on the ground, laying down, hips up. We're gonna roll all the way up and back down. 15 reps. Twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen. Last one. We're gonna hold it. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let go. All right. My biceps and even my rear delts are definitely feeling it right now. My arms have the craziest pump. We're gonna finish off with our shoulders, emphasizing on our rear delts, which are already pumped with rear delt flies, using these two chairs in the same exact position. So I'm gonna turn them over just like this. If you need to take a second to catch your breath, go ahead and do so. Pause the video, but definitely don't take too long. We're almost done. <clears throat> I'm gonna get right in between these. Make sure your body can fit. 15 reps. All the way in and all the way out. In and out, that's two. Three, squeeze at the top. Five, 
four, three, two, and last one. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. That is a crazy shoulder pump. For everyone that just tried that with me, you can feel how effective that is. Now we just have two more exercises to go, finishing off our shoulders and completing our entire arms. Coming up next, we have pike push-ups, emphasizing on our medial delt as well as our frontal. So let's get these chairs out of the way. We're not gonna need them anymore. We're gonna get down to the ground. Get into the position of a push-up. Tip of your toes, you're gonna walk all the way up, pike up with your hips. You wanna be in a straight line from your toes to your hips, and then your palms down. So we're gonna go right down and back up. That's two, three. If you can lift your feet up every time, even better. Just emphasizing more weight your shoulders. Here we go. Three, two, and I lost count, so one more for good luck. Hold it. Now hold the bottom. All right. Shoulders on fire. We just have one last exercise. This is gonna emphasize on our frontal delt as well as our medial with plank leans to pike press. These two exercises are also really good at building your strength to eventually do harder exercises like handstand push-ups, 90 degree handstand push-ups, and full plank presses, mainly because these are progressional exercises you actually use to unlock those exercises. So with that said, let's get down to this last one. You wanna pike up, just like this and then come down forward with your arms straight. Your hands should be by your waistline. Push back up so your hips are straight and then come right back down. So that's already two. Lean hard. Every time you come down, lean, 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 and press with the palms on the ground. Down, lean, then press, 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 press. Activate those frontal delts. We're gonna do two more, and then we're gonna hold. Up, last one. Come down, lean, 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 hold. Right there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. The pump is so crazy right now with the arms. I'm telling you, I don't even get a pump like this when I'm just doing curls and tricep extensions in the gym. This is so crazy. But thank you guys so much for getting through this round with me. You're on your way to building some solid, strong arms. Not just looking strong, actually being strong. To get the most out of this routine, you wanna be able to do it for at least three full rounds. So run this video back, it's really quick and it takes no equipment. Do it two more times and you're gonna see the strength gains come and your muscle definition really start to develop. So if you enjoyed this video, like always, smash that like button, I really appreciate it. And if you comment down below within the first 30 minutes of any upload, you're always gonna have a chance to win some free tennis gear. Comment down below what training topic or workout you want us to give you next. To schedule this workout on your phone and do it at any time and for full access to all our personal workout programs, technique guides, and daily workout challenges, just like this one, getting you in the best shape of your life. All you need to do is download the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store or just hit the link down in the video description below. It's that simple. And you're going to join the millions of Thenix athletes around the world getting in the best shape of their lives just like you. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button right now with bell notifications on. I post every single Monday at 10 a.m. USA Eastern Time. Anyways, I'm going to finish my workout. I got two more sets to go and then I'll be cooking up another workout video for you guys. So stay tuned. But in the meantime, if you need another solid workout routine getting you in the best shape of your life, check out this one and I'll see you there. Mad love. Peace out, baby. Baby.